better served if he did a whole album with Pharrell or just did a whole album with Kanye. And, and I truly is- believe if he did a whole album with Kanye and they were locked in to do that, those Kanye records would have turned out better. But I mean, Kanye's verse on um, the song that he, well, it's two songs that he's on, but the first one, um, what's it called? Uh, Dreaming of the Past. Kanye's verse on there, man, I've never heard Kanye sound so out of it on the mic. Well, it's kind of awful. Yeah, it's... it's and, and meanwhile, on the other side of things on Daytona, you got his verse on What Would Meek Do, which is like like one of his 10 best verses. Apex. Yeah, yeah. like like the height of it. So you can tell like how into it he was then versus how he wasn't into this for whatever reason. But maybe it is this... And think about all the things personally have been going on with Ye. Maybe I'm going to reach out to say maybe he didn't want to hear all that talk because he's right there next to Push all the time and knows what's going on with Push and maybe trying to get more of that up out of him. Maybe that's why it was so gritty and so raw. He was trying to get something up out of Push, you know? Well, what would you say are uh, some of the best verses on here? If we just going to go say. verses. Hmm. Uh-huh. Brambleton, because of the personal per, personal tone of it, because it's the only song where it gets kind of personal. Mm-hmm. So I like that first verse on that second verse on Brambleton. I like. He's pretty epic on "Call My Bluff." Actually, Mike, the second verse on "Call My Bluff" is dope. Uh, you're right on "Just So You Remember," and on um, "Dreaming of the Past." He's dope. Like he, it's not like he's not dope on here. Mm-hmm. But you're right, Mike. It's like, like he's had love. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. My bad. I was plugging something in. No, no, no. You're cool. I mean, just in the past couple of years, he's had love, life, and loss all close around him, you know? Yeah. It, and I'm not saying he ha- needs to, like, go, like, Nas on Godson or, like, Jay on 444, but it would have been nice to hear him, you know? No, I agree with that. And it's like, it's one of those things where, again, I, it's like, you don't, not everybody's going to do that. You don't have to do any of those things, but for the people who do, they're next level. A, a Scarface is next level. Like, it's that, that, those are the things that people look for in the artists, like the vulnerabilities. What I was going to do, I'm going to uh, take a quick break, real quick, and I'm going to uh, go to, I'm going to go to this uh, digital yearbook that we got, right? So, for the people out there, we actually got the uh, yearbook uh, available digitally. And so this is the 2021 yearbook. And what I wanted to do real quick, man, I wanted to go to some of the verses that we actually had in the 2021 yearbook. And now my joint's stalling. Of course it is. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go to some of these verses and see like how some of the stuff on here actually compared. That was the thing. Wildly consistent. I don't know if there's a verse of the year contender verse on here, though. Well, because, okay. I, because I was looking for, there are some dope ass verses on here. And this is what I mean. When, when, you're, when you are going to rap rhetoric, content, subject matter wise about what he raps about, mm-hmm. you're literally, I mean, I mean, he's the best ever at it, Mike, other than Jay and G Rap. And you can even argue to a degree he's more agile at it than G-Rap. So you can say he's better than G-Rap at it, too, if you want to. Just the talk. I'm not saying he's a better rapper. Right. Just like, okay. Well. Like, so when you're saying that, it's like, that's what I mean. It's like, well, the bar for what you pull off is high. That's why your producers can't fail you. Like, oh, no, Aaron, call my bluff. It's like, man, they should. Like, that call my bluff. There should have been two whole beats in there that should have made us lose our mind. Like, that shit should have banged bang. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the verses from last year, right? So you got Nas, uh, verse of the year for the truth, right? Lauren Hill, nobody. Uh, Freddie Gibb, fake flowers. Uh, J Electronica, Jesus Lord. Conway, Hell on Earth 2. Uh, Store Run, second verse. Uh, Lil Wayne, Bash Money. I mean, would you say that I guess Jay Z's verse is a, a verse of the year candidate? Would, would that be the best verse on the album? No, that verse had everybody talking. It had everybody talking because it was Jay. That's what I was trying to tell you. Like, like just like if anybody. Coop, you there? 
Yeah, I'm right here. Oh, you froze for a second. Say what you were saying. What was the last thing that you, you were saying? Because uh, it's Jay. Yeah, people are saying it's verse of the year because it's Jay. Just like if somebody else who was relatively new would have made this album, would be talking more album of the year. But because of the level, and because of who we know and the beat, and because of what we're dealing with, all of those things get taken into effect. It's like, no, some of the same stuff that I'm saying about Kendrick, and it's like how I'm looking at things, the same things apply to Push because of it. to me, they're in the same spectrum of MCing, which is like in that, you know, are you in the, are you, are you worthy of top 10 consideration? Truly? Mm-hmm. Why? And how? And I think he missed an opportunity for him to move himself up in this conversation, quite frankly. DeCarlo wants to know how to uh, how to get a digital uh, yearbook. Well, actually, we should have the link for it in the description. And what I'll do is I'll make sure that we have it in the community's page. Uh, the digital yearbook, you know, you can use that on your tablet, use that on your phone. You know, uh, we actually got the 2020 and the 2021 one available digitally. And you'll get, like, the best color pixelation. We only doing those for twenty dollars, so. Uh, but we still do have the physical ones on Amazon if people want to go get those as well. But yeah, the digital ones real handy. So you know, somebody tell you uh, it wasn't no dope hip hop in twenty twenty one. You could just pull this joint out your pocket and just scroll right through it. Like, well, what about this album? What about this verse? What about this slept on album? Man, it was a whole bunch of slept on shit. And I think this year we got a we got a lot. Pop-